Oh yeah, brother! <laughs> I am so excited about this kit. Oh my god, am I excited to get it. When I first got into RCs, I, I was into crawlers. All crawlers, all the time. I didn't know the bigger world and the faster world of what other machines could do. This hit the market about that time and it came in orange, it came in black. It was so sick. And I was like, I'm getting it. I'm gonna get it. It's too awesome. I gotta get it. The reality of it was that it was pricey. So I had to pass. But when I was at the store looking at it, I passed and went to my Arma Sentin 3S BLX. And honestly, that thing changed my life. It brought me into the world of hardcore RCs, speed, bashing. It really changed the way I think about things. And I still, to this day, it is one of my absolute favorite platforms and cars, period. When the kit version of this came out, it had a lot of upgrades. When the Rift was first released, it had issues with the axle snapping and a, a lot of other things that weren't, were plagued at the beginning, which is typical for a launch of platforms. They're not always perfect. Changed a lot of things, they listened to community feedback into this kit and it's definitely the superior model to go for. So the reason I got this thing is because Joe from ExoCageRC scours these sales on all of the websites and he put in a $150 off coupon and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this thing. So I did. And then I spent that little bit of extra money and got myself this to go with it. So it's the Copperhead 1400 series. It's a 412, 2100 KV motor, it's censored. It's two to four S. Man, it's gonna haul. So if you don't know much about the Rift, it is your typical rock bouncer. So it comes with metal diff covers, and like the trailing arms have been reinforced to give them that extra rigidity. It's, this is gonna be awesome. Well, this build is gonna take me probably quite some time to do. Uh, I'll highlight the cool parts as I build it, okay? One jillion parts, yeah. Stickers, all of the Lexan body covers are in here. Very thick manual and a bunch of screws. Oh my God. Wow, look at the size of those. The size of my hand. Oh my God. This is way bigger than I thought it was. That's what she said. <laughs> and then, oh, here's the beefy bits. There's the cage, there's the kit. All marked and numbered. Bags and bags and bags, shocks. Oh my god! Ooh, hefty! Oh, it comes with all the oils that you need. Diff grease. I think it's a million weight. Loctite, you name it. Yeah, these instructions are really great. They really detailed. That they have a diff locker. It's optional, but I'll put that in the center diff. That's really cool. Well, about two hours deep and the front and rear axles are done. I got an EcoBoost servo in here that's shimmering in the light right now. This is a solid piece of kit. It's going together really well. Rod ends and trailing arms done. Now it's on to the transmission, but it's after midnight, so it's gonna have to wait till morning. I got my first thing in the morning, tall boy. Then we're gonna go upstairs in a nice warm and build this transmission. I don't think I'm gonna go two speed. There is an option for a single speed. I think with the motor combo setup that I'm gonna be putting in there, it's gonna be fast enough. And yes, I said fast enough. I mean, it's still kind of a crawler, right? I, I don't wanna completely obliterate it at 60 miles an hour yet. Oh, this is exciting. That's beauty. That is a nice quality motor, man. Castle makes such good products. Very cool. Totally excited, this is awesome. Looks like I grab, need to grab all of the D. <laughs> D! That looks great. Spaghetti, but great.
So now I gotta start building the chassis. And this comes down to the community posts of who picked the right color and the prestigious award of 750 fake internet points. Not redeemable anywhere. Drum roll, please. Wisconsin, boys and their toys for picking purple. Congratulations, my good man. I gotta say, dyeing this thing was a little bit sketchy and I got lots of stains on a lot of things. Don't wanna be getting that on your town jeans. It turned out really well. I was on the precipice of making the largest mess of my life on the deck, but I'm really happy. It's fairly even. Three hours later. So I've got the upper links, lower links, and the axles installed, drive lines, everything, you name it, all of the drivetrains pretty much ready to go. Got a TX6 Yishin receiver inside of it. Those things are amazing. Nice, all calibrated and ready to go. So I'm gonna clean up all this spaghetti, mount it to the chassis, and then I'll do a big reveal coming up in about three, two, It was a little overcast and the birds are still chirping. I got a 50C4S hypo in that bad boy. It's really hard to pick up. That does, it gleams in the sun so amazingly and it's that rose gold. I think it looks great. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my beautiful, beautiful! No! Oh well. This thing's gonna take something to learn how to drive, that's for sure. This thing is crazy powerful. Oh. This has got so much power on the like Too much so, I think. These beauty little hills. This is a perfect test ground. Oh, look at Mm, this thing takes some different skill to drive, that's for sure. <laughs> this 
Oh, you're good. I'm not sure what to make of this thing. I really like it. And it's really cool, but it's a very different driving experience. It's not a crawler, it's not a basher. It's gonna take some getting used to, but man, it's got the jam. Whoa, you guys are filthy. There, I think that I think that's how you're supposed to drive it. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I didn't even see that eagle. Oh damn! That thing's huge. Oh my God! I'm getting flown over by a freedom turkey. Look at you, you're a beast. That is a big bird. You gonna land up there? Sick. <laughs> like I think this is pretty perfect terrain for this thing. I just gotta work out the kinks. It's a brand new build, right? So. There! Hill climbing! You're definitely earning your keep, though. Look at you. I think I might have figured out how to drive this thing. You don't send it like a basher, you drive it like a crawler, but you've got the jam when you need it. Oh my god! <laughs> That's how you're supposed to drive. That was cool! Yeah, I need lock dips. I'm gonna lock the front and rear dip up. Looks like my metal servo packed it in too. I don't know what's going on. I've got no steering. Maybe water? Well, I guess that's the end of that. Walk of shame. <laughs>